Hi there, everyone. Jim here with Fantasy for the Ages, the father and son show, talking fantasy, science fiction, and other nerdy stuff we want to talk about. Today, I'm bringing a book blast episode to you on Stephen King's novel, Lisey's Story. An interesting kind of book. As a book blast, that means this is a spoiler light episode. If you haven't read this yet, you're safe here. I'm just going to give you some general reactions and impressions and help you figure out maybe if you should check out this book, which I'm not sure about. If you like this video, remember to like the episode, subscribe to our channel to see all the other great stuff we have here, and feel free to get in touch with my son, Zach, or I. All the ways to do that are down in the show notes, social media, Discord, even Patreon, and become one of our special supporters. Lisey's Story is another one of these novels where Stephen King continues to impress on how he can think up the most amazing sorts of things here. This is a story that's multiple stories all intertwining. It's about real life and how things are truly difficult for people at times and how they they rise up from childhood to adulthood trying to put together the pieces. You know, some people grew up very well adjusted and everything was rosy all the time and, well, they've still got issues. They're just a little more hidden. Other people have some serious issues in childhood and yet manage to put Humpty Dumpty back together again, or so it appears. Is it ever truly so? Well, that would be one of the themes, perhaps, that's in this story. It's also the story of how authors come up with their ideas. Where do they draw their material from? Are they just very creative people? Or are they digging into deep wells of insecurity, of the paranormal, of psychotic challenges? Who knows? That might have something to do with what's happening in Lisey's story, though. We have the story of Lisey, who's married to an author, and he's a very successful, popular author. But things have happened, and at the start of our story, we actually are meeting the widow, Lisey. But we get lots of flashbacks throughout this story. So we're going all the way back to childhood, we're going back to younger... Uh, days of marriage, we're going to mid-marriage, and we're going to now. And all of these different settings have relevance on the now because there's something very significant happening that is maybe the main plot of the story, and yet I'm not so sure. The main plot almost feels like the secondary plot and the deeper story behind it all, which is very Stephen King-esque, colors everything, going back to the beginning of the flashbacks, to how the story concludes. I know, that's kind of ephemeral and hard to understand what I'm saying, but it's a Stephen King story, and I don't want to spoil it for you. I'm a little unsure whether I can say I enjoyed this story. It touches on some really troubling things, particularly if you deal with mental health challenges. Uh, that There's an element of that to this story. But there is a weird undertone to the story that all the, the dark things, the sketchy things, the scary things that we're learning about have a purpose. That there might be a deeper meaning behind uh, what you may think you are seeing, which was interesting. I will say I found the ending of the story quite satisfying. It's always nice when the ending is satisfying. I'm not going to say all happy and rosy, but satisfying. So, Lisey's story. There you go. There is a uh, show on this. I forget if it's Apple TV that did it. I think it might be Apple TV. I haven't watched the show. I haven't decided if I'm going to go check it out now or not, because I'm still a little troubled by the story. But Lisey's story, Stephen King, consider giving it a try. And that's where I'll leave you for today. Again, don't forget, like the episode. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.